Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Another episode here on Elma, Missouri. So, we've been at it this morning, getting cows fed. Uh, we bailed up the soybean straw, a little bit that was here, and in that back field. Uh, we filled up the uh, planter, or the drill there. Uh, I feel like we did something else. But anyway, we have uh, rain in the forecast, but we're just going to go. We're going to get it done as much as we can. It's coming at like 11 a.m., I want to say. So I'm hoping that at least we can get done with this field. I think we're going to hold off on uh, doing another cutting of hay or grass or whatever we deemed necessary. Because it is going to rain, and yeah, the forecast isn't looking great, so we're going to maybe hold off on that. I don't know. Now that I'm talking to you guys, this is, let's see, this is how it happens. I start talking to you guys about what I'm thinking in my head, to start thinking about it out loud, or talking about it out loud, and then I, and then I start to think, well like start to convince myself <laughs> that I'm not doing the right thing <laughs> so maybe we will I don't know maybe we'll maybe we'll get Bobby fired up on the 1070 in the mower and at least do that field because like I said we are going to plow it in so it kind of would be nice to get at least one more cutting off of it hmm maybe we will do that maybe maybe I need to give Bobby a ring real quick get him going we let him talk us out of it. We got talking. Made the point that it's going to rain. So there's no point in starting. Because we're not going to be able to get the field done. So, and then it's going to rain. It's going to be too wet to cut right after. Plus, we got to get harvesting. As soon as we can. The beans are going to be a little wet, so we're going to have even later starter, or even later start the normal. Kid just doesn't want us to make money, I guess. <laughs> that's all right. I think that's a, I think that's going to be a good decision. Might, might put a little bit too much on our plate. Because we are going to need Bobby to run a seed and stuff here and there and, you know, that kind of good stuff. Have him available, so be fine. We're just not going to cut that anymore this year. Probably wouldn't even be the best yield anyway with it being October. And Yeah, so we're going to let it go. Going to let it go. But, yeah, so we're going to, we're drilling now. We are going to, honestly, I'm thinking this year because we got a lot of solid fertilizer up in our uh, storage loft there in the shop. We might end up uh, spreading that fertilizer over this wheat ground. A little bit of wheat starter. Usually you'd spread that before you drill, but we're just going to go with it. So that's going to be the plan until we get to be able to harvest, which we'll get there today at some point. Just depends on when. That's the real question. Well, the rain started a whole hour earlier than I expected. So we're going to call it quits for now. We'll finish it up once the rain stops. It's only supposed to, it's supposed to last about an hour. We'll fire back up. Hopefully not too long after it stops. Shouldn't shouldn't affect the ground too much, but we are going to call it call it right now. We'll back or we'll just pull the drill right in the shop. Might as well probably top it up with seed again cuz we are going to need more seed for the following field. We're only going to get to that small field today, but nothing wrong with, with topping it up for now. There we go. Raining. So now we got to find some stuff to do. In the meantime, we're just pulling up now to the last soybean field. We're going to need to back in this way to get the head on. Didn't get to do any more drilling. One, because we needed to obviously start getting 
equipment down in the field because by the time that we get going it'll be a one o'clock or so because we have a whole nother combine and head to get down here um and two <laughs> again this is me just not thinking just just going and not even thinking about stuff uh we are planning on uh plowing in that grass field and combining it right with the field that we just started drilling with wheat so we haven't done any of that yet so that field actually needs to go to oats because we're not going to be able to plant it until the spring it's going to be spring oats not winter wheat so there's that we're backing down into a ditch here we're just going to get this head unfolded we're going to get the flaps of the grain tank opened up. And we might open up a little bit of this just to get the combine part in there. And maybe even the uh, grain cart, get it out of the way. So we need to head back to the farm and get the other combine and other head, so... You can see there is a little wet spot there in the field. That's okay for now. Hopefully it dries up quite a bit by the time that we are actually ready to go. Yeah, we're going to all head back in the truck. Um, all hands on deck to get the rest of the stuff. We'll have uh, Bill park the green card in there. We'll get this head unhooked and then we'll all jump in the truck and go back be a little snug in this uh, single cab here. So we had quite a few issues with audio here, so I'm just going to do a time lapse on a good portion of this video instead of leaving it out because uh, I ended up having even more audio issues uh, with the next few clips. So I'm just going to add them in. You can watch them, you can skip them, do whatever you want. But uh, yeah, a few few uh, time lapse clips, and, uh, and then we'll be back to our regular scheduled programming so enjoy so here I was just uh, kind of going over what uh, happened after the stream uh, as you can see well I guess you can't see yet but uh, we everything before now was before the stream on Saturday and everything now is after the stream. So we have started corn harvest already. Uh, we got the dryer going, we got corn going. Uh, we're doing a little, little something different this time with moving the corn out of the dryer uh, via the Parker wagon and then uh, loading it into the dry bin that way. Uh, 
instead of like direct transferring it. Uh, so yeah, I'm just kind of chatting about that right now. Well, we're down here at the big field, and we are going, opening up headlands. It's just after noon, so we've been at it. We've probably been down here for about an hour and a half, getting heads on and equipment up here and making sure everything's going fine and all that good stuff, so we got to get these boys unloaded real quick. Hopefully he doesn't start cutting in over there. Yeah, he's going to do something. He's going to do something funky. But yeah, we got we got Bobby, we got Bill, and we got Bridget. Bridget is our new worker. She is on the grain carts, or the wagons. I guess I'm on the grain cart, but the wagons... She'll be running wagons for us today. So that is going to be a big, big help for us. Try to not back right into uh, Bill. Just let them get a little bit of space real quick. Bobby's probably gonna have issues on this corner. We're having issues with the the corn heads here. I think they have a, some sort of collision that's uh, going on. That it's been kind of a pain <laughs> when they need to turn. So I'm sure that is about to happen. It's about to say blocked by object, so we're going to have to fix that. But we're going to get this guy unloaded real quick. Maybe not. Oh? Is it going to work? Uh-oh. Look at that. It's always nice when something works. That you're not expecting. Is it going to work? Nope. He's blocked. <laughs> Great. Alright. So we are actually going to turn all the way around now. Since we're only... Or since we're already at 74% full here. And about 560... 60 bushel on us. They're going to need us probably to unload them again before they get around the field so we're gonna go empty and we're gonna come back we're gonna chase them around the field once again yes I did say in the live stream that I was gonna fix my corn textures but as I am already late on this video we did we did miss our Sunday unfortunately I do I do hate missing Sundays but that's okay uh, some of my audio was is just all a fault of my own. I uh, had my mic muted for about 10 minutes worth of uh, recording, so that would have put the video at a decent length, but instead of doing a short video, I decided to just push it off until I can actually get a second to record more, and then I'll put it out, so... There's Bridget. She is hanging out in the green wagons there. Dip down to this uh, field approach quick and turn around. F 
fling the auger out there. So yeah, Bridget is a uh, college student, one of the nearby colleges. She is in ag right now. She's studying it. She's studying in the ag field right now, so she uh, is pretty. Well, I guess she's not super experienced. Uh, her her background is more on the cattle side. Growing up, uh, she was a farmhand essentially but she was just a milker most of the time but she decided to go into ag so that is why she's going to be very very part time for us because she is in school still so we want to make sure that she has ample time for her studies and all that stuff uh, she'll probably just help us out in the fall with corn harvest for the moment. Uh, she's a sophomore in college, so she has a few years yet until she's finished with that. And then who knows, maybe uh, if we ever get into dairy or something, she can we can hire her on board to help us milk and run tractors and all that good stuff. So yeah, that's uh, that is our new hired hand, Bridget. I figured there's a lot of female player models for helpers and stuff, so I figured we might as well get a get a lady on the team, get a little diversity on the team, you know. So uh, looks like uh, old Bobby's messed up again, so we're gonna we're gonna get him fixed up real quick, and then we'll cut back to you guys here shortly. So as predicted, I did need to get these guys unloaded one more time. Oh, I am happy that I did end up doing that. That as in uh, <laughs> unlo er, going and dumping into the wagons quick before them unloading again. So kind of nice uh, having four of us now. We don't have to worry about running wagons and running the grain cart. It's really nice. Uh, we have been, if you've been tuning in lately, we have been only running one headland with two combines, so that gives us, well, with the heads, it was giving us about, with the, uh, soybean heads, it was giving us about 50 feet, which was nice, but with corn heads, I think we're gonna need two headland passes, or four total, which would be what? 32, 32 rows of, uh space for turning so so yeah probably one more uh load of uh these two hoppers here and we'll be good to send her and have her unload some stuff we might go with her the first time just to make sure she uh knows what she's doing we kind of gave her the rundown but uh yeah i just wanted to make sure we, we're gonna need to make sure she knows what she's doing and of course we uh having collision issues again. <laughs> and away she goes with the first load. I can tell you right now that we are gonna be waiting. <laughs> waiting on her to get back. The fact that I only have thirty three percent room in my uh grain cart and she's just now going up there, yeah, we're gonna be <laughs> that's gonna put a halt on things, so this is where I wish that we had uh, even another guy or something that we could pull some more wagons with or something. So, yeah, we'll have to figure out the logistics a little bit better, maybe. All right, so we just got a call from Bridget. The wet bin is full already. We just filled up the grain cart here as well. So we are going to go... Back to the farm quick. We're going to take the pickup. We're going to help her get the uh, uh, auger moved onto the dryer. 
And honestly, depending on how much is actually left in her wagons, we might have to call it a day pretty much. Uh, we'll, we'll unload as much as we can into the dryer and then we'll take back the wagons. I might even grab another wagon myself with the truck and then we'll load these wagons as much as we possibly can and then that's probably going to be a day for us. There is rain coming about 8 o'clock so we need to be on the lookout for that but I think we should be able to fill up the wagons and hopefully store them inside if they if we can't get them into a bin so yeah i knew that was i knew i, it, I knew this year was going to be even more of a backup than last year just because we have a lot more corn our fields are bigger this year as well so it doesn't give the dryer time to catch up while we're moving fields and stuff so yeah i mean <laughs> It's uh, two headlands, so four total headland passes, and we just made our first pass through the middle of the field, and we are already we're already almost full on uh, bin space and stuff. So we'll shut the dryer down for now while we get it moved and all that good stuff. So yeah, there's Bridget sitting there. Uh, we're just gonna pull up right here with the truck. We'll get the 1070 off the auger, move it over, and we'll dump right into the dryer. We'll get the dryer going, and hopefully we can create some space enough to where we can start moving wet corn into there eventually tonight. So, yeah, we'll catch up with you later this evening when we kind of get the stuff figured out. Uh, yeah, because, I mean, the combines, they need unloaded already. Grain cart's full. <laughs> we're at a standstill so we'll be uh I'll catch up with you guys here in a bit alrighty so it's like 6.30 now I have been at the farm the whole day since we got there uh, Bridget is following me in the pickup truck she brought the second load of wagons back I've been transferring corn from the wet bin to the dryer, all that stuff, just managing <laughs> managing bins and corn and a dryer and all that stuff. So they've been dumping into the uh, the grain cart. Uh, they're done. They're shut down. Uh, we're going to get the rest of whatever they have harvested into these Parker wagons. And then uh, we'll try and get them under cover, probably, because we're not going to have enough room yet until later this evening to dump these into the bins. Like, even probably until, like, midnight. We probably won't even be able to dump these. So that's kind of what we're uh, dealing with. So that is going to be it for this video. Bridget's following me to, with the pickup truck just so we, she can bring everybody home. Uh, that's going to be it for this video. We're just going to swing back here to these guys. See the two combines are parked up right there. We'll get them unloaded. And uh, yeah, so thank you everybody that uh, has hung out with us. Thank you for watching. Sorry again for missing Sunday. Hopefully this is out on Tuesday of this week. Uh, thank you to the YouTube channel members. You guys are awesome. Thank you to everybody that's gifted memberships lately. Uh, so yeah, I just appreciate you all for hanging out, being here, sticking with me through this journey, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.